Hello everyone. Uh, <coughs> this is Terry from TraderBot Marketplace and Joaquin Trading. Uh, today we're going to go over the Fibonacci tool found in MetaTrader 4. Uh, you can find it right up here in your toolbars. It would be that one with the F on it. If you don't see it up here, then there's a right here you'll find some little dots right click on those and hit customize and you'll find over here in the left you would have your Fibonacci uh, retracement tool would be li listed over here you can just click insert and it will put it over here on this side okay now uh, of course I get questions all the time how to use Fibonacci. There's uh, several ways you can use Fibonacci. Uh, they, um, a lot of people use them a lot of different ways. Uh, I'll show you the way I use them. Some people might not like that way. They may say, oh, that's wrong. But it's the way um, I do them. Okay, so let's get started here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. The um, way I do it, if I'm looking for a retracement or a trade to get into, uh, I make my chart a little small like this. And then uh, you can find good tops and bottoms that way. So let's use this, this one right here. We'll use this point and this point. Assuming that we were looking at the chart and it was like this you know uh, this was our low and that was uh, our high pretty much for, for that little time frame okay so you would just draw your Fibonacci from the low down here up here to the high that way. Now what I look for is for it to pull back to the 50% mark right here uh, and then uh, expect a, uh, a pullback to that and then the continuation of that trend, of that downtrend there. You also expect it, if it goes to the 50% for it to go uh, pretty close to the 1618 of the extension here. So that's not in, that's not listed. Well, it might be, let's see if it's listed in defaults. Okay, yep, it's listed right there in the defaults. So we're expecting, if it pulls back to the 50, we expect it to go to the 1618. And right there is 1618, and that's where it went to. Right there bounce there a couple of times okay now also uh, I modify my my fibs a little bit because uh, the 618 if it pulls back 61.8 percent that would technically would be up here uh, if you were to draw these backwards which I don't like to like this Because I don't use expansions. Expansions would normally give me the 1618 and the 200 and everything above 100. I, I don't use those. I use the extensions here to um, to give me those. So technically, uh, the 618 is right there if you do it backwards. But I don't like doing it that way because I want to have my 100 in at the high or the low depending on which direction I'm going if it's going uh, trend is down I want my 100 to be at the bottom hitting 161 so what I do is I go in here and I change the 382 right here I leave the level 382 but I change the description to 61.8 and then down here at 4.618, that can be a 
Okay. I also, all my levels, if you put a percent and a dollar sign, it will give you your the uh, price level right there. So let's go through and do that. I don't generally use the 23.6, but I'll leave it on there for now. I don't really use the 38.2. Okay. And one more. Now I also use the 200, so we're going to add the 200 in here. There we go. Now, didn't make it quite to the 618 there. But like I said, it went to the 1618, which is what we were expecting. Uh, so let's go move on to the next, uh, the, an uptrend move here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's right click. And if you hit Control Alt, Control A, sorry, it will highlight everything. Then you hit Delete. Okay, so let's go. Assuming this big move right here on that day with a gap, let's pull our fibs there. Let's go to the low. There we go. Let's see. Whoops! It pulled back to the 50, and it and it went up, and that is today. So I hadn't quite made it to the 100 yet. So let's let's go back some. Just choose a day here. Okay. Assume this is our high. Up here, this is um, our low. And that came up to the 618, came down. It pulled back up, but let's see. It never really made it to there we go. It made two to one six one eight, but it was quite a ways away. So what you could, what I like to do is, um, if it pulled back to the fifty or six one eight, your choice, uh, get in there, and then use the one hundred as your take profit level, or at least majority of your profits take off at, at the one hundred there. Okay. Some people ask me, how do you decide uh, when, what the low and the high are? Well, on this one, of course, you can tell that's the high on this chart right there. Now, what I would have doing, began doing was, uh, I would put it there because that's their first little pullback. But if it hasn't made it back to the 50 or the 618, then that's... Uh, I don't consider that a part of the pullback, so of course you'll want to go on down here to that low. Let's see if we can find another one over here. Okay, here's a good one. That would be our high. Now when I'm pulling back, again, there's there's no real pullbacks there. I can see that would pull back far enough to the 50%. So that's an uptrend. That's what you need to determine your trend first. That's my uptrend. 
Now let's see if it ever pulls back to the 50. Nope, see that that one, uh, that one, uh, you know, I'll only give it a couple of days at most on the one hour chart. Uh, so let's see, let's go into the next one. Here's its downtrend move. Now let's try this one first. Assuming that this was it over here. Uh, it never moved up. Yep, see it pulled back to the 50. You could have got in right there and wrote it down to 618. That would negate that particular fib. If you were looking again, okay, you would use that the pullback to the 50 bar. That was that's your point. Your new pullback or well, your new high. Nope. So now you just keep pulling this down until you find the low. And right here is going to be the low. There it goes. Pulls back to 618 and 50. Could get in there. And unfortunately, you would have lost on that one. It would have came back up here to the high and taking your stop loss out if that's what you're using for a stop. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's go to a different pair. Let's go to pound yen. You can also pull these on the on the daily. Uh, let's look up these dotted lines. These are uh, separators. This is one. Uh, this is Oanda, and this is the new day starts, uh, and this is Eastern time, so it starts at midnight. Uh, some people like to pull them on the on each day, and then enter. You know, you can use the 16618 as your target each day. If it hits, you know, always pull it in the direction of the trend. See so it pulled back to 15618, came down. Again, 56.18. This is a good little downturn it's in here. Same thing. Boom. You see that? It's our high. That for a low of that day, and it never pulled back, but of course, you could have gotten in and rode that on down. Do the same thing on a pull it to high to low of the day and wait and see if it pulls back to the 50. That's real close right there. And of course, it went to a downtrend after that. This is a downtrend. And it broke back up through there. You can see how strong the 618 and the 50 are. See how price bounces on them back and forth. Okay. But um, that's pretty much the tutorial on how to how to do the. Uh, I'll let me let me show you another little neat trick. Uh, people ask how do I get my my vertical my heart my diagonal line there so big. Go in here and go hit um, file 
open your data folder. Then in your data folder, you want to go to config. And then terminal I and I. Double click on it. And this will come up in the notebook. Okay, so what you want, you want to go down and you're looking for, scroll down here, go through your, you want to go down here to your Fibo. It says objects. What you can do is uh, when you're looking for it, just hit Control and L, then type objects. So I should have did to start with, and it would have brought you right to it. And up underneath objects here, you can uh, the Spibo weight. Let's change that to two. Let's see what. Change it to two. File, save. Just go minimize these, and then let's draw another fib. See how that makes that small again? Okay, so let's go back in there, change back, change that back. You can play with your numbers, uh, depending on how big you want to make that. You can also change your style here. Let's put a let's put a two right there, and save again. Go back and pull another fib. Okay, that one didn't do anything. Maybe if we put that at zero, then that a two. Yep, see it made it dotted. Make it a four and see what it does. So it depends on what you want it to look like. You can play around with it. See now, that's <clears throat> a little different. Again, I, I like mine big so I can see and get a hold of it. I want to drag it. So we'll put zero for a line. There we go. Now you can also change your color. Um, There we go. Let's see, Fibo color two. I'm not sure if you can just put the color in there or not. Yep, oh, yep, must be able to. I don't know why it says blue there. Let's try something. Let's put it here, green. Oh, yep, see, you're, uh, can't tell if those lines are green or not, let's see. Nope, made it turn to black. Okay. It doesn't like that. Just hit Control Z, and I'll go back to <clears throat> the color it was, then whatever it was. In Okay, you can see I've I've got my my descriptions <clears throat> and these tell it to put in the the, uh, the price levels. Okay, and you can <clears throat> you can change your trend lines and all that as well. Okay. So that's uh, that's how you change your the size of your diagonal line there in the fib. Here you save again. Again, you hit, if you hit right mouse, hit objects list, Control A, to highlight everything. You can hit delete.
that is pretty much uh, my film tutorial. Oh, you know, you can use it on the uh, use films on a five minute chart of oh, five minutes as well. Uh, say you were looking for a trade, and you see this little up move here. And you think your trend's gonna be so your chart is uh I can't get over far enough. But see your chart is over here and that's all you could see and you you see this up move. Pull your field from there to there. And you see it came down to the fifty, pulled back back to 618 and pull it up then continue it up if you're using the 100 like I like to do I mean set 70 pips there so it can be used on any time frame there's a big move down there and then as in news so that's how I use the uh, Fibonacci tool you just find your your high and your low in the direction of the trend I'm using this and this because it's on the same day came up and if it breaks your high then that nulls out your fib and it's time to move on to the next one but see that one uh, it broke through to 618 and the 50 but still came down to the 1618 then the 200 even so that would have been a good trade as well if you're using a high as your stop loss, about 75, 80 pips stop, but and 160 pip gain, or even if you came all the way down here, anywhere from my 75 pip to 220 pip gain. Anyway, that's my little Fibonacci tutorial. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Hope it was beneficial. Have a good day.